your first alert weather with meteorologist Darren Stack. Good Wednesday morning started off very nice out there. We'll continue to look for just a few clouds lingering around overall, though mostly sunny skies. We head through the midday and into the afternoon. We will see the slight chance of a stray shower or two, 20% chance at worst for us. All in all, though, a good looking forecast, a little hot and a little humid in comparison to what you had yesterday. Very similar when it comes to those afternoon high temps. We'll make it into the mid 80s along the Grand Strand, 90 in Conway and Marion, 91 in Florence, Darlington and Lake City. Again, it is going to be a little humid out there and you do have to watch out for that isolated chance for a shower. But overall, high pressure will remain in control for the well, next few days for your Thursday and then into Friday. It weakens, allowing a cold front coming into the area to uh, bring in the chance for a few more showers and thunderstorms behind it. We get a big cool down all thanks to Canadian high pressure coming in just in time for the weekend. Rain chances will sit at a 20% chance today and tomorrow up to a 30% chance with the frontal passage on Friday. And then the weekend looks nice and dry for us with a lot more sunshine. The temps though coming down from those 90s and mid to upper 80s struggling to 80 degrees on Saturday and Sunday. We had the peak of hurricane season yesterday. We we're on the downward slide of things, but uh, still a lot of activity out there to talk about. Tropical storm Gabrielle 50 mile an hour sustained wind right around Bermuda heading out to sea north and out to sea, supposing no threat to the Carolinas. Hurricane Umberto, 75 mile an hour maximum sustained winds became our first hurricane of the 2013 season. And then we have another wave right now showing about a 30% chance of development over the next 24 to 48 hours moving into the Yucatan. But as it enters the Gulf of Mexico, it potentially could become Ingrid. Certainly something we'll be watching very closely. Not a lot of certainty there, but uh, nonetheless, that looks like it's going to be staying far away from our area. But Hurricane Umberto was the second latest first hurricane of the season as far as well September 11, 2013 at 5 a.m. That's when Umberto became a category one hurricane. The latest first hurricane on record was Gustav set back on September 11th, 2002. That was at 8 a.m. by a mere three hours. Umberto nearly tied the record as the latest first hurricane on record. The good news is the forecast with Umberto staying out to sea. Granted, it's making a due north turn over the next few days and then gradually back to the west, wrapping around a ridge of high pressure in the Atlantic. Looks like conditions are looking pretty good for us tropically. As far as the Carolinas go, our forecast and a little bit of a shower chance out there today and tomorrow. 30% chance with the frontal passage on Friday, but look at that temperature drop 86 to 87 for the next three days down by the beaches, 80 to 81 for the weekend with plenty of sunshine. Wake up temps on Sunday morning down to 59 degrees. Inland areas, you'll wake up to 55 on Sunday. What a gorgeous weekend forecast coming our way with lots of sunshine, low humidity, even a little fall feel to the air in the wake up temps. Sunday morning inland at 55. Those early morning services heading out the door, you may be a little on the chilly side with those 55s. Next few days, though, we do have that summertime heat sticking around. So summer lovers, enjoy your Wednesday and Thursday with those highs in the mid to upper 80s to low 90s. Have a great Wednesday. Your latest news, weather, and tropical updates are always available on your website, carolinalive.com.